let's imagine a case where we have an object, uh, us, sitting in the carriage of a Ferris wheel. So we're a mass and we're down at location B and this Ferris wheel is moving around and around at constant speed. If the Ferris wheel lifts us from the very bottom of the Ferris wheel up to the top, what is the total work done on us? Well, it turns out that the correct answer here is zero. The total work done on mass B is actually zero because, if you think about it, the fact that the speed is constant means that our initial speed is equal to our final speed, and therefore the change in kinetic energy is zero. We know that by the work energy theorem that the change in kinetic energy also equals the work, and work is defined as the net force dotted into the displacement. That seems a little odd because you would imagine that the Ferris wheel is doing a lot of work on mass B as it lifts it up from the lo bottom location up to the top location. But remember that work is defined as the net force, and in this case there are really two forces acting on that mass of us, or mass B, sitting initially located at the bottom of the Ferris wheel. The net force is resulting from gravity, which is pulling the object down, and the ferris wheel, which is trying to lift it up. In this particular example, the displacement vector, delta x, points upward from the very bottom of the ferris wheel up to the very top. And if since gravity points downward, then the force of gravity dotted into the displacement vector is a negative number, whereas the force of the ferris wheel pointing dotted into the displacement vector is a positive number. So there can be several works being done here. There's the work done by gravity, which is going to be negative because of the relative orientation of the gravitational force and the displacement vector. And there's the work done by the wheel itself, which is positive because of both of its force and the displacement vector are pointing in the same direction. And if you think intuitively then, if you were uh, the, the object moving in the upward direction, Gravity is trying to work against you, so it's trying to slow you down or remove kinetic energy. The wheel is exerting a force which is trying to speed you up in that direction. The fact that those two forces are exactly equal and opposite, because we're moving at constant speed, then just means that there's no change in kinetic energy or there's no net force. So the net force uh, due to gravity plus the wheel, or the net work done by gravity plus the wheel is zero.